So does your income or even your debt to income ratio affect your credit score? That's a great question. Let's dive into the details and the answer in today's training. Hey everyone, it's Mike Adams, and on this channel, we empower individuals to achieve freedom through improved financial literacy. If you are new to the channel, make sure to click subscribe and click the bell, so that way you get notified on any and all of our future trainings. So in today's video, we're gonna be discussing, does your income affect your credit score? And, and also, does your debt to income ratio, a lot of people talk about that, but does your debt to income ratio affect your credit score? And uh, both really good questions. And again, they, they came from subscribers here on the channel. Again, I love your feedback, love your questions. Uh, you know, definitely as you watch some of the content on this channel, again, many of these concepts are new. You know, uh, we've been taught certain things about money, finance, um, you know, interest, taxes uh, over the years. And uh, it's got a, it's had us thinking a certain way about things. So, uh, you know, I love it when, you know, people see these videos and you know, they're like, okay, I get that kind of, but I have a question. Get that into the comments. And I go through there. I check those comments out myself and answer all of those questions as quickly as possible. And uh, whenever it, uh, it works, so we end up creating a piece of content just like this. Because if you have the same question, chances are there's hundreds, maybe even thousands of other people with the same question. So be the voice. If you got the, you know, in the military, they always told us the only dumb question is one that you don't ask. So uh, you know, if you have questions, get them in there uh, without fear of any judgment. Uh, my goal is to answer those questions and help people understand this stuff better. But to the point of this video, does your income or does your debt to income ratio affect your credit score? And in short, the answer is no, right? And a lot of folks are surprised by that. They're like, wait a second, Mike, you know, um, you know, uh, my income affects my credit, doesn't it? Um, you know, it, you know, it, I guess it does indirectly, right? Um, obviously, we know uh, the different factors that make up your credit score. And, and we've talked about those in other videos where we're talking about payment history, credit utilization, okay? age of file, mix of credit, and also new credit or inquiries. You know, when it comes to FICO, those are the five factors. Um, debt to income ratio is not one of those factors, right? Um, how much do you make? What is your annual salary? What is your net pay? That is not one of those factors, okay? So as far as it, does it directly impact your credit score? No. So now, so those two things don't directly impact your credit score, but do they impact your ability to qualify for a loan? or qualify for a new line of credit? And to that, the answer is yes, okay? So a lot of times, you know, it's just mis, um, you know, misstated that you know, your debt to income ratio, I didn't qualify for a loan because of my, my bad credit, because of my high debt to income ratio. Those are two separate things. And so does your debt to income ratio or your income affect your credit score? Uh, the answer is no, right? Uh, as far as directly, does it directly uh, raise or lower your score? So if you go out there and you get a new job and you start making more money, does that in and of itself raise your credit score? No, it does not. Okay, uh, also your debt to income ratio. Does that raise or lower your credit score? And you know, and here's my, my deal with that. And I know from personal experience, when I was in corporate America, my wife and I uh, were in debt up to our eyeballs, okay? And uh, you know, and really I'm just, but, but here, the crazy thing about it is we still had good credit, right? We still had 720, 730 credit because we paid all of our bills on time every time. So even though our debt to income ratio was high, I believe at that time it was in the 50, 60% uh, range. I mean, we were definitely over leveraged. Um, you know, just like so many people out there, we were over leveraged. Um, and, and again, our debt to income ratio was high, but as far as our credit score, you know, when we looked at our credit score, got our credit card statement and we look at it and it's like, wow, we're still sitting at a 720, 730. We're thinking we're doing great. But of course, as we know from other videos on this channel, your credit score does not in and of itself determine whether or not you're gonna get the loan, okay? Um, you know, every bank, every lender, they have their own thresholds and their own parameters uh, to which they're gonna lend. Because the reality is, you know, if somebody has bad credit score, can they still get a loan? You know, the answer is yes. You know, do they end up paying more fees, more interest? Of course, yes. Uh, you know, there's an expense to uh, to having that bad credit, even if you do qualify. But you can still qualify even if you have bad credit, because again, it depends on who's lending you the money. 
You know, if you're going to, let's say, one of those uh, car dealerships where you buy it and pay for it at the same place, uh, you, know, the, you know, every town has something like that. You know, uh, a place like that, you know, even if you have bad credit, you could still get a loan. So again, it depends on the lender because they have their own set of parameters. So the score is just the score. A business is gonna have their own parameters on whether or not, okay, there's your score, but what about these other factors, right? And this is where your debt to income ratio and your income can definitely affect your ability to qualify for a new loan. So if you have a high debt to income ratio, like let's say you know, you're already at, let's say 60% you know, debt to income ratio. So every month, and what all that means is let's say you got 10 grand worth of income coming into your house every single month, but yet based on your credit report, I can see all these installment loans and all of these payments that you have going out every single month. And it adds up to, let's say $5,000. If your income was 10,000 and you had $5,000 worth of expenses on your uh, report showing going out every single month, you would have a 50% debt to income ratio. And typically they want to see you under 30, um, but definitely under uh, the low 40s, right? You definitely want to be under uh, 43%. So, uh, and obviously for preferred, uh, you want to be under 30, under 20, and obviously all the way down to zero. And obviously the lower, the better. Um, but that's where it can affect you. It doesn't necessarily raise or, or up or raise your score, but it does impact. If you have a high debt to income ratio, you know, the lender's gonna look, okay, here's your score, let's call it 700, but, and, and you might be thinking, well, hey, I got 700 credit score, but yet you, you're at 60% uh, utilization. You know, you're at a 60% debt to income ratio, and right now, you barely have enough income to support your payments on your current debt. You know, even though you have a decent credit score, the bank is going to say, no, we can't give you the loan because you cannot afford another payment due to your debt to income ratio. Okay. So again, sometimes it feels like your income or your debt to income ratio impacts your credit score. It doesn't directly impact your credit score. Again, indirectly, it certainly does because it affects lending decisions made by the business or by the lender um, that's deciding if you're going to qualify for the loan or not. You will certainly look at your credit score as a factor. Right, uh, but as we know, credit score alone isn't what uh, says yay or nay to you getting that loan. It's just a factor. Okay, so your debt to income ratio and also your income um, are factors, but again, only brought in by whoever's um, lending or extending the credit. And again, every business, every bank, they have their own thresholds for what they're willing to accept. So hopefully you found value in this training, learning a little bit more about you know, your debt to income ratio and your income affecting your credit score. Again, it doesn't impact your credit score directly, but it does impact your ability to qualify for a loan in the eyes of the lender. Make sure to give this video a comment, give it a like below. I will see you in the next video.